Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how an on-sell change event works, yeah? So all we've got is got this data here, and this is like a little data entry form. So as we change this cell here, cell E3, what we want to do is we want to push that entire line of information over to this sheet. So we want to push it into the bottom cell just here. And we want it to do it sort of so we don't actually even know that it's happened yeah so when cell e3 changes do something so what we'll do is we'll go into the back end of excel so alt f11 now when you get in here you have to choose the sheet where you want the change event to happen and it's sheet one data yeah the sheet one is the code name now a little unintuitively we have to choose from this general window and we have to choose worksheet and what that does is it opens up this window yeah so it opens it up and we get access to the change events worksheet.activate worksheet.calculate but we want Want this one worksheet.change yeah so we choose the change event we can remove this code the selection change we don't want it's what gets uh, created when we choose this menu down here and then what we want to do is tab in yeah so basically it's given us the worksheet by value target as ranged line which is great so we don't have to remember that but we do have to remember this because if you're doing a lot of worksheet change events you have to remember this line the way i got to remember it is i just wrote it over and over and over and over again yeah it becomes second nature so it's if not intersect yeah open a bracket now this is the target so the word has to be target and then comma and then the target is effectively the range that you want to execute a change on and it is square bracket e3 i'm just going to hard code that yeah close the bracket and then is nothing then yeah and then we end our if statement now look that line's a little unintuitive yeah from a vba language perspective doesn't make a great deal of sense just basically have to remember that when e3 changes doesn't matter whether it's capitalized or not something's got to happen so this line is where the magic happens yeah so we'll say we want square bracket b3 2 e3 and then we close our bracket and then we want to dot copy yeah so we want to copy that data now the syntax for copy and paste is copy then destination so the destination is the next piece we want to put in and we look over here and say okay what is the worksheet code name for status it's sheet two so we type in the worksheet code name for status sheet two dot and then we'll say we want to put that data in the last row plus one of column a so we square bracket a one o four eight five seven six and then we close our bracket dot oh not comma dot end excel up yeah and then we open a bracket put two close a bracket now that's effectively the same as saying dot offset one yeah now we click on the next line and effectively this should copy the data and drop it in the first blank row if e3 changes let's press alt f11 and go back and check the veracity of our uh, coding yeah so we come in here we check the status sheet there's nothing down here and then we go data we go from open to say on hold yeah and on hold should move nicely into here with the 21st of june and the appropriate number now what if we wanted to make a change not on one cell but multiple cells say we wanted to change all of these cells if any of these cells changed make something happen so what i might do is i might use and abuse this cell i might just create a random number so we'll just say rand between and then i'll just say one and 50 yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use and abuse the color index yeah and then uh, that's going to put a color here and you'll see as we change the cells this color will change over and over again so we'll extend the range all right let's go and have a look at what that might look like so we'll press alt f11 now what i'll do is i'll copy this range because it's already made pre-made range and i'll drop it straight over the top of there yeah so now we've got the range that we want to change from b3 to e3 yeah and we'll just we'll just rewrite this code here yeah? so we'll say that we want square bracket f3 dot interior 
dot color index yeah and we want the color index to be equal to I'll just say one at this stage and we'll press alt f11 and that cell is f1 there we go cool so we go remove the one square bracket f1 yeah now it doesn't matter whether these are in lower or uppercase excel will be able to read them so we click away it capitalizes this it capitalizes this so we know it's roughly in the ballpark and now let's go and test the cells from b3 to e3 alt f11 to go back in excel and what we want to do is we want to now change something here so this is in our range so this is our holding range through there so i'll change this cell from one projects to two and then we press enter and there's a color there i'll change it to four click away different color change this number so we can test the range more broadly from two to one enter and the chart color changes now we've moved our focus from alt f11 just e3 from b3 to e3 so now it's not a single cell but a range of cells so there we go peeps that is how you change a single cell and make something happen and we change multiple cells and make something happen and what that something is is really up to your imagination all right everybody have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time